Edisha portal. So you first log into the portal. The website is erp.eloginweb.com. Over here, you input your mobile number and the password given to you. Once you log in, it will take you to the student dashboard. Now there are a couple of things here. Uh, first, I'll show you how to see your recorded classes. So for recorded classes, you have to go into course. Select Eco Topper. Over here, you can see the different subjects that are there. So these subjects have been uh, divided based on different levels. All the Eco Topper classes are uploaded under advanced levels. So currently, for example, in microeconomics, Sir is doing perfect competition. So if you want to view the recording, if you miss the class, you go into advanced microeconomics. You select perfect competition and over here you can find the full class videos. So the 2022 videos for the current batch are from the second video onwards. This would be the first class for the 2022 batch of Eco Topper and you can also see the 2021 batch video. Then next is the intermediate level. The intermediate level basically contains all JNU and IGIDR past papers. And then finally, we have the basic level. So, Adisha runs the Eco Foundation course. All the Eco Foundation videos which help you in building your base can be found under the basic subjects. So, if you go to basic math, you will find all the basic math videos and all the Eco Foundation full class videos as well and uh, if you go here into class schedule you can see all the classes for the 2023 batch so here this is the schedule that we had for the may june session you can see all the classes that were held for this this is the july schedule this is the august schedule so as and when uh, more schedules are released every month they will keep getting added here so this is how you can view your record classes. The next thing is how to give tests. So once you're in your dashboard over here, you can see practice examination. These are all the tests that are active and as in when, uh, you know, topics are completed, more and more tests will be added. So to give a test, you simply have to click on start exam. In the beginning, it will show you all the instructions for the test. So this test is 60 minutes, 30 questions, 3 mark for each question, 1 negative mark. Once you are ready to start, you click on start exam. Uh, here you can see the question and the option. If you want to select an option, select it. You can see all the different questions that there are. And you can mark them as per your wish. Once you are ready to submit an exam, click on submit. So the exam has successfully been submitted. And now if you go back to the reasoning exam, you can see your result for it. So you click on result and it will show you, uh, you know, how many questions were there, how many you attempted, how many were left, correct, negative, your total marks. I guessed and I got a negative 4, so I'm hoping that you guys are better than that. You can also see your overall um, analysis of how you performed in the exam. So how many questions you found medium, easy, difficult out of the ones that you've given and how you use your time. There's also a comparison of everyone else who has given the test. So you can see you versus everyone else who has given the test and here is where you can find all the solutions with the questions so yes again one by one go to them the one highlighted in green is the correct answer like and if you got a question wrong it will show you the wrong answer and then the correct answer so this is on how to give tests in case uh, you want to change your password, you just have to click on change password and you can change it. And if you're having any issues with the portal, you can see this little doctor sign here. It's the third one on the left panel, help and support. 
click on technical support and you raise a ticket so once you raise a ticket the technical team will help you solve your problem and yeah that's all you need to know about the student portal if there are any questions you can let us know